<clears throat> okay, so we are back with some more jam games. Woo woo woo. Today we are playing PS Legends Frontier. PS stands for Pokemon Stories, I believe that is um their little whole a series of games, a little theme park, if you call if you will. Um so this is by a non dog ski who for those who might remember, made Overcome Magic Carp in the last jam, which is a very fun and very unique game. And speaking of very fun and very unique, well, this game seems like it will be very fun and unique too. Um, I won't read too much of a fair, just to, so we're going a bit blind, but it says, A Gen 2 inspired 2D HD sequel to the Colosseum games. Experience a 3D legend style game with a unique battle system. So Legends game, unique battle system, like backstory to the Colosseum games, it sounds pretty cool to me. And 2D HD, HD 2D, and I think we'll see a bit more of what that actually means in a sec, but I'm very excited. Because I, I've seen some screenshots and oh boy oh boy, does it look good. So let's get into it. This is for year 18xx. More than a hundred years have passed since the arrival of the Easterners in the shores of the Atlantic continent. The wild and untamed beasts of the continent have been competing with the human element for a while now. But three inventions will soon shape the future in an unprecedented ways. One is the barbed fence, the other is the railroad, and the third is the steam ball. I really love the way this is being presented and like the font and everything. Amidst the various conflicts between Man and Mon, the biggest struggle arises. Easterners, encouraged by the Homestead Act, have flocked west to claim land as their own. Federations and confederations of states and nations are vying for power. Small-time small -time ranchers are fighting to maintain their property against government-backed ranch conglomerates. New identities are being forged amongst various people, but one sentiment is ubiquitous. Most Easterners and Westerners just want to get by. A force is outside of them. Push for a grander scheme of things. In these turbulent but fast-moving times of independence, change and adventure, a certain party finds himself caught up in the biggest conflict of them all. This is their story. Ooh. Oh, that's... Oh. Here we go. Look at that. Essentially a 3D Pokemon game. And it's beautiful. Oh, we're really looking at the back of our head here. So W to move forward. Look at that. Is that not, like, impeccably beautiful? <laughs> like, this train and, like, the camera angle. And it just zooms in on your face. Like, look at that. That's a thumbnail right there. Oh, it's even got diagonal movement. What a beauty. Hey, please don't hurt me. Oh, I guess we're... Nah, we did just see us jump onto the train. I guess we're some bandits of some kind. I saved up so I could buy my first ticket and this happens? Yeah, we're robbing you punks. No fate, please stop pulling my leg. Oh, look at this and the door animation. Can we go backwards? I imagine so, but yeah, yeah, we can. This is beautiful. Someone, please help me! This is a robbery. Oh, and we've got barrels of goods. It seems like we've met someone who's gonna stand in our way. And look at that camera turn. Out of my way. I not move. You are not a coward like the rest of them, huh? I'll give you one more chance. Move. <gasps> question mark, question mark, question mark. Emerge! And mid-battle dialogue. I hope I can do this. I guess we're quite nervous, huh? Wait, you looter? I think. So we're not using Pokemon here. We've got people. Shout for ten mana. Items. Attack. It's Seventeen damage. One hundred and ten. I guess they probably have a lot less HP than we do. I don't think there's much we can do except for just spam attack. Wow, okay, we kinda... 
Well, we could shout, but we're gonna die in one hit anyway. Oh god. Oh god, that went badly. <laughs> Lucia was defeated. Ah, oh, my arm. I did not lose. <laughs> Lucia, you idiot. I told you, you are too soft for combat. You do not deserve to be the High Chief's son. I get out of my way. I'll show you what a real warrior can do. Oh? What is this, Halter? You weasel. We welcomed you into the Tehutan Federation. You had a sworn oath, one which you clearly violated. High Chief, you are a senile old fool. You do not understand. Your peaceful ways will cost us everything. We must seize the Easterners creatures. To survive, you must adapt, not retreat. Not retreat into the mountains like your petty tribe. Besides, here are the results of your so coveted peace. Your own son has become a weakling of a man who couldn't even defeat a creatureless Easterner. Your decisions will lead, our self de lead to our self-extermination. Enough. Call your men back. Touch even one person and you can consider yourself oust. There's no wisdom in your weakness. Bit of an internal conflict we've got going on here. Kid, are you okay? You doubt my son a strong but harmless blow. You must be good. What is your name and where are your parents? Telly. No parents. Then you came to the shores alone? You speak a different tongue than most Easters. War, back home. I like the music. Luta, you have been bested in combat, but I know you are strong still. I, I. A proper warrior must always admit defeat and honor his opponent. If that is truly your goal, you need to learn to act like one. Salute your opponent, and let's leave with honor and dignity. I underestimated you before. I am sorry. You are strong. Goodbye. Farewell, kind man. Or kid, I guess it seems like he is. No. I have no home. Welcome nowhere. Reason for I go more west. People here don't like me, but you? Good. Let me... Luther, you don't have a friend your age, isn't that right? Now yeah, numbers are dwindling. Father, this is shameful. A strong friend will help you become stronger yourself. Son, swallow your pride so you can grow. Fine. You can come with us. What's his name again? Telly, did he say it was? Thank you. Ha ha ha. Has it really been two whole years? It feels like yesterday. Guess a bit of a time skip. Oh my, see, isn't this just beautiful? It really does. It sounds so silly looking back. Man, we were just a bunch of kids. We still are until the rite of passage. Speaking of which, Luto, the chief has summoned you. Sounds like spearfishing summoning to me. Let's get going, brother. Right. Telly has joined the party, and I guess we can see each other's brothers now. That's nice. Look at all this crafting. Options, always dash, why not? Well, that's, that's not yet. Lots of cool stuff. So we have Shout. No skills on Telly. Java, upcoming warrior. This is really cool. Items, no items yet. Equip. So different like arm, head, body, accessory, leg, foot, ball, holster. That's interesting. Status. What does it say for Telly? A young boy who migrated to the continent to avoid war in his home country, brother of Luther. Very nice. I go let's save and leave this tent. Would you like to rest? Okay, let's rest too. Good idea. I wonder. There's like an always dash option. I wonder if there's what the dash button might be. Or maybe you can only dash outside. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. Ah. Oh. oh, oh good Ronko. Get some sleep. Good night. Thank you for stopping by. This is beautiful. I might so if I go options, always dash on, do I actually move at a different speed? I do. What a beautiful game. 
I was out hunting once and someone whispered to me, Q and E can be used to rotate the camera horizontally, page up and down. Right, so... You go in like one eighth of a circle. And then page up, page down. <laughs> you can play it just like a normal Pokemon game in a sense if you play it like this. Some of the stuff looks a bit odd. Ah, oh, what a beautiful game. Felt hats same Vogue. They are highly sought out after among main tribe. Ah yes, felt hats, my favourite piece of fashion. There's a lot of people to talk to and I think I'm going to get very lost here. A slow mover. <laughs> this must be the beast I was given as a gift at, from the Federic ch tribe to. To be frank, it kind of looks like Telly. Ahem. <laughs> Cough, man, I mean, I have a sore throat today, I have. What's back there? A little rocky egg? What did I just do? I got some jelly? That's a bit of a dead end. Well, it's crazy how the camera works in this game. I'm losing my mind. Gosh. I can see myself getting very lost. Chief always makes fun of me for liking corners. Look, I just like corners, okay? Don't judge. I'll let you here for a tip. Each weapon has different properties, like a club does blunt damage, spear does pierce damage, with elements have properties of their own. Air element imbued weapons make you more likely to act twice. A heated weapon taking mossy weapons. Okay, I see, I see. Did it just say butterfly? <laughs> yeah, fish. I guess that's a butterfly or something. Oh, there's an item there. I'll say maybe playing top down is like the easiest way to go. Can't get through there. Maybe if I go around here. This map is going to be so confusing. I got water. Feebass. <laughs> Feebass can be found aplenty in the canyon. You said you tell a good spearfisher, so you have a been a blessing for us. Wow. So I guess I should find where I need to actually go. Let's rotate. Let's go up a bit too. So I probably want to get on the higher layer and then I can go to that tent. And that's probably where I need to go. Let's page up even further. Here we go, so we climb up here. And we've unlocked a new dimension of travel. Change the render distance from that beeper. <laughs> yep, okay. I think render distance is fine as it is at the moment. Oh, this is the egg thing I was looking at. I actually got up here. I think it's just a rock, it's not an egg, but. In fact, page down when held during a conversation with it. Really? I can't get in here because I'm running too fast. Chief! Barber! Salutations, boys. I'm afraid the two of you have to go fishing in Echo Canyon again. Grab your spears, but do not use them on beasts that may attack you. You're on your way to the Canyon's River. You might damage them. Use your other weapons instead. Again, why? We caught so many a while ago. Lisa, have you not noticed? The Buffland have almost completely disappeared. We can't even find a herd to follow around anymore. Ah, that doesn't sound good at all. Indeed, my son. I have considered relocating our tribe further north, as north as possible in fact. It might be our only hope. Ah, but we have to do something about it, hmm? Let's forget about that for a day or two. Tomorrow is your right of passage, Luto. You have trained hard, but there's still time for some more practice. Use this chance to spell the beast in canyon. We're going to need it. Now I'm prepared, we're going to crush the beast. Ah, go catch some fish first. Big words make for little men. Tell her let's get going. Yep. So did we receive... No, so we only have Hatchet, we don't have Spear yet. But we'll make our way to the Le Canyon. Just want to look around a bit first. Look at all this, it's such a beautiful game. I'm gonna be gobsnapped, Mac. Gob... Like, just stunned for the whole game, I think. A hyena? 
My hyena fell ill, he only couldn't do much. I heard there's a base when this is called the Lucky Egg, whose pulses can heal other base. I guess that's um Blissy or Chansey. With heal pulse. The Northern tribes can withstand cold weather with these. Sounds amazing to me. The place where we are looks pretty hot. Oh, is the sun setting a little bit? That's page down so we can find the stairs we need to take. This looks about right. I guess I want to exit the town. And here we are in the ore region, and again, we can still move the camera. Being honest, with you, I've never played a Colosseum game, so there's probably going to be a lot of references which are lost on me. Like a lot of the areas that are from the Colosseum games. Echo Canyon. I guess this is our little intro to the area. Loading in slowly. Look at that water. I guess that's where we need to go fishing. Oh, and there's a mysterious cave. What could hide in there? Let's make our way down. Oh, it is canyony. We're here, Telly. Left taking as always is canyon. Let's get the spear fishing going, man. Okay. Oh, not that way. We shouldn't venture any further for now. Why not? Oh, a beast! It doesn't look like much. Yeah, we've done this before. Should be easy. Still. What do you say we go over the basics? We've been slacking off lately. Alright. First Pokemon battle, or beast battle. Oh, it's a sen sentry ringtail. Alright, back to the basics. The most important thing to consider is our health and vigor points. Our health is self-explanatory. Vigor points represent our overall fighting spirit. You may regenerate vigor points over time or if on the pressure. If we are lucky, the beast species have lived in close proximities to human and thus can be considered as tame. It has lost its wild elemental properties. You could say its real element as well, tame. Normal weapons can damage this beast, but I wouldn't say the same for others. We need to upgrade our weapons with certain residues to make them elemental in accordance to enemy's weakness. Don't we... Clubs work really well against certain rocky looking beasts and bows are very effective against flying beasts. That's, that's quite interesting, I guess. Instead of like types, we have weapon types. Okay... I think this is mostly... Yeah. Stuff. I get it, I get what's happening. Okay, so that costs 10 bigger points, but obviously we only just started the battle, so we don't really have any bigger points. So just go for an attack, 90 damage, 110 on poor Telly, and Telly doesn't even have any skills. And item wise, I have Ruben B Jelly, so HP and Vigor. Okay. Give it a slap. So I have. Yeah, so I might as well try share out. Ooh, look at that animation. So defense and attack both go up, but they attacked Telly anyway. And we, we defeated Sentry Ring Tail anyway. 30 XP. Alright, easy enough. Off he runs. The beast has retreated. Ludo, we shouldn't dwindle here. Let's go catch some bass. Should be over there by the river. Where's the river? Oh, that looks like a river. Haha, that looks like bass. Man, the Rite of Passage is so close, I can barely believe it. Yeah. Being the High Chief's son sounds like a huge responsibility. With everything that's been happening recently, it is. Are you still thinking about what Holter said back then? You could be right. My father is old. His warrior spirit has weakened. Your father is an amazing man. You are being disrespectful even thinking about it. I just can't stomach running away, running away from our ancestral home. But Lucia, the stories tell of an ancient migration. It is what the people of Tehuta did before. Dehuda was forced to move north due to Luxudo attacks of the... Is that an X or a K? A Zichul Empire? If your people hadn't moved north, you'd never been born. They should have stayed and fought. It is dishonorable to run away all the time. Telly... Uh, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, you silly Luta. Don't you know Telly ran away from war too? Yeah. I wasn't thinking of you when I said that. I wasn't implying you were a coward from running away from the country. You didn't have to say that all out loud, Luthi. That probably just hurt his feelings more. Yeah, I know. It's the same old, same old. I despise war, but everywhere I go, war seems to follow me. 
I'm almost 18 now, but I was forced to fight since I was 14 years old. War. War never changes. I've had enough, man. I feel so weak and helpless. Everything started going so fast ever since the Easterners came. Now I'll be responsible for an entire federation of nations, at least partly. <sighs> hey, let's just forget about it. Have I told you the story behind my hat's procurement? <laughs> Please, no, not again. When I first set foot here on this continent, some someone walked up to you and put his hat on your head. You took a few steps into town and then ended up in a cell because the sheriff thought you abandoned the bandit who gave you the hat. Now touch him. My brother remembers my sad backstory. Ah. <sighs> when I met you back in the train, you could barely mutter Galarian, the Easterner's tongue. Then you'd become fluent in both Galarian and various Tehutin languages in no time. You have become talkative. Very talkative. Yeah, but you like my ramblings. Ah, uh, well... They could at least thank me for acting as an interpreter and diplomat. That's true. Thanks, Telly, for lifting my spirits up a bit. I feel less stressed now. We should head back. Did you hear that? I'm not going to catch that fish. It's still just sitting in the river, you know? Surely you just got to put your spear in it. I was never a good scout. Wait, what is that in the distance? Oh no, this is going to be a, a Lion King scene and we're going to all get trampled over by water butterfly, bu buffalo, whatever it is, and Telly's going to die. I need to get to a higher place. Oh? Telly, I saw, I saw, you saw a giant pile. A giant pile of buffalo craniums. There must have been so many of them. Is that why the buffalo population went down recently? I think, I think I saw men wearing blue. Easterners. How weird. Should I go talk to them? It doesn't sound wise because they have some enormous beasts by their side. What are they doing? Could it be? I see. Luke, we need to go back and tell the chief. Right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Something is afoot. But first, let me get beside him. I guess this is a dead end. Um. It, oh, it's not. It's it's a wall. That was a problem. Dun, dun, dun. It's down here, I guess. It'd be cool to hook this up to like an actual controller and having the joysticks, the joystick operate the camera. I feel like that'd play quite well. Because obviously on keyboard, it feels a bit more odd, I guess. I don't know. Oh no, has something bad happened? Luther, tell you, you guys are back. Hey, hey, a pony. Looks like you brought enough fish for a couple days. I'll go prepare the salt bags. Oh, Luther, is that a scratch? You didn't get hurt, did you? No, I'm fine, completely fine. Ah, <sighs> it never gets old. What? Um. <laughs> oh, I sense a little bit of romance. You guys are all prepared for tomorrow then? Please give me a sec. You might want to use some for water residue from a Feebas you caught to upgrade your weapons. Right, we're kind of glossed over that. Residue? What's residue? I'll be in your TP. I'll be in your TP preparing the fish. Come see for yourself. You got the loot though. I'll do my best to prepare your food. You'll need all the strength you can get. Okay, let's watch what direction she went. Because I do not remember where our tent is. But I guess it's this one. No, it's the other one. This one. Are you a pony? Okay, Alita. Phoebus is composed of element of water. Phoebus may drop water residue and defeat it like every other beast does for its respective element. Right, I knew that. They've run over it a thousand times already, but every time you're surprised to hear about it. Ahem. So what do I do with the residue again? Open the menu, select craft, and then choose a the recipe to craft. By combining your equipment with required residue amount, make sure you have unequipped the weapon or army you'd like to combine residue with here. You got two times that residue. Soak hatchet recipe. The canyon is full of earth element, beasts who craft and water element weapon will be useful. You can switch weapons and armor mid-battle to cover weaknesses and exploit enemy. Should keep that in mind for tomorrow. Ah, oh, yeah, true. So, better see the chief now. Bye. I work extra hard to prepare the best dish I can possible. Yep, later. Oh, I hope a pony doesn't die. That'd be tragic. Let's just check our weapons. So, unequip, drafting, soaked hatchet, requires hatchet and two times water residue. And now it's being crafted. So I go equip. Scope capture. What does Telly use? A rusty power. That's fine, I guess. 
Yes, let's go see the chief now off this hill. This is quite the optimal camera angle. Father, chief, welcome back. Now that our food problem has been taken care of, Father, sorry to interrupt you, but hold your tongue, boy. You should know better than anyone else wants to speak with. Hi, chief. We are really sorry, but there is an emergency. We just saw some East Indians next to a pile of buffalo craniums. It seems that they have exterminated thousands of buffalo. I believe they did so to interrupt our food supply. This should explain our recent decrease in population. In the buffalo population. This is quite distressing. My suspicions have been correct. We have to follow buffalo herds around in order to survive. It has been our way for life for centuries. We could barely find any herd to follow lately. We had to settle in these mountains due to the abundance of the canyon bass. Ah, uh, we have to do something about it. We can't sit here idly watching them deplete our main source of food. Luther, something is bothering you. Hold his words, they're still echoing inside your head. I find this a bit... I don't know, I guess it depends on context, because it's been two years, so there's a lot we can't see. But knowing that it was two years ago, it is kind of odd that everyone is so aware that two years later, that one conversation on the train, I still think about it all the time and people keep on bringing it up. But I guess maybe it really was just something that shook him to his core. And he hasn't like stopped to know him by other people. Every time he's like walked up to Telly and being like, Remember what that guy on the train said? And Telly's been like, Yeah, I remember. Shut up. And he turns to his father and's like, Remember what he said? And it's like, Yeah, we know. This is the tenth time and one day you brought it up. So maybe that's what happened. Contemplate them only when you have enough wisdom. You're too young to know any better. I want to fight them. Leave it, you looter. You may become a man after a rite of passage, but to become a chief you still have a long ways to go. We'll discuss all of these matters when the time is right. Oh, I don't know if our father's gonna survive for long. I definitely sense this village being destroyed and someone dying or something. Maybe that's a bit too morbid for a Pokemon game, but this is a fan game. They can always take it wherever they want. For now, let's forget about it. I have something to tell you both. Telly won't be coming with you tomorrow. What? The right of passage is for you, only after all you are my son, but you have been great sparring partners, but I'm afraid this is battle meant for Luther and Luther only. Brother, this, I don't know how. It's fine, you're crazy fast, you can do it. Sand Firefly. It is a ferocious, yet usually friendly with human beast. With humans, beast. Many to Luther's tree chiefs have bought it. Wait, it's the very same beast? Yes, beasts live much longer than humans. Hmm. I imagine we're talking about a Volcarona, Sand Butterfly, and if so, that's a pretty cool first boss. It is usually merciful to those who lose. You see, most beasts or creatures, they do not harm humans unless provoked. It is usually humans who hunt the beast down. Most of the times it is out of necessity, after all, we cannot live on water alone. As you know, I have passed down the traditions of Tehuta nations, and of thousands of stories, only one told of a harmful beast. And let me guess, it's going to be the final boss of the game. No, no, please it's talk, I find it fascinating. Okay, Telly, you know what? I need to rest. Big day tomorrow, I guess. Father, I beg your pardon. You may go, Luther. Telly, I know what you are thinking. What? Don't. It's Luther's battle. But you may accompany him to the battleground. The canyon isn't easy to traverse by any means. By all means. Yes, hi, Chief. This is far, a fast-moving world. You are our future. Be careful. Let's go. We gotta rest. Okay, so we sleep and then we go to the canyon, I guess. Um, this was it, right? Oh, more cutscene. That's me. Ah, oh. lots of talking, so I'm getting quite thirsty. <laughs> Luther, the food is ready. Come, Telly, please help you first. But you know, don't go on a binge just this once. Goodness, I've been caught fat yet again. No, but um, you know, it's fine, it's fine. All right, man, let's eat. Night soon fell. Ah, oh, I can't really sleep. I wonder how strong the sand firefly is. Will it consider me worthy? And morning came. Luther, brother, you look spectral. You haven't slept at all, huh? <laughs> oh god, that's such a bad idea, Luther. You've got essentially an exam today and you haven't slept. I am slightly dizzy, ever so slightly. You have no time to waste, Telly. Off to Eklo Canyon, and the Lair of Trial. I guess that's that cave we saw in the area intro. Let's go.